Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today you're joining us for an unboxing where we've got a new partnership with Big Max Golf. Exciting. Big Max are going to be supporting the channel and supporting a series that I'm doing where I go and play with other golf pros and try and beat them. So somebody's got some faith in me. Well, yeah, someone has to. So, so they, they said I could go on the website. They said I could pick a bag and a trolley. And we're going to reveal what I've picked and why. Um, a couple of important points before we unbox them is this trolley, and I didn't know about this, but this is 40% smaller and more compact than any other trolley in the world. And then the, well, let's get into it. Shall we start unboxing yeah, yeah. them? Uh, there's a Stanley knife there. I'm going to get into the trolley. Do you want to start looking at the bag um, or unboxing the bag? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to be using these products not just for the series, but all my golf. And when I were buying them online, I specifically bought these two products, thinking about me personally, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, I don't troll it every single round, but I have got a bad bat, and sometimes that forces me to actually use a trolley. So you'll, you'll see when you, you see the bag and the trolley combination, you know, you'll understand more about why I've gone for this combination. So do you want to just... Have a quick look at the bag. You you haven't got a clue what I've ordered, have you? I am first time I've seen it. Um, but as a fellow Big Mac user, how would you describe that bag first of all? Nice, nice and light. Yeah. What is it? Fourteen way divider. I mean, generally speaking, I'm going to be quite honest with you. When I order a bag, I don't order. A, I usually order quite small bags because I'm thinking of just carrying. I usually think of just carrying, and then if I'm ordering a a trolley bag, I order a big trolley yeah. bag. Well, this is a hybrid bag. I'm gonna say it's an in-between. It's it? an in-between. So you might have seen one of these before. From the top, you've got a 14-way divider system. So ideal for trolley. You've also got a strap on the bottom to strap the legs up. So, you know, there's nothing worse because I like to have a trolley, a, a bag on the trolley like that so you've got access to all your pockets. If, you know, with my ping bag, the legs are forever coming out. So yeah. you've got the strap on there. It's 100% waterproof, so I can use it all year round. Yep. Um, and obviously, you know, room-wise, if I'm going to be playing a lot more golf, for, I'm forever, you know, you'll have seen videos that, you know, you get these videos on YouTube saying you should have this in your bag. And I'm the most guilty person of not carrying everything because yeah, I don't yeah. have the room. Um, so with this bag, I should be able to, you know, get everything in there. It's called the Big Max Dry Light 14 Hybrid. And price point wise, for a, for a fully waterproof bag, I thought it was fantastic. And I'll put that up on screen, but I'm sure it was around about sort of 200 pound, 199. Yeah. I think it is, it's the same as mine, apart from I don't have the stand. But, well, it was funny, you know, like when you buy a brand new car yeah. and, you, you, and then you start seeing loads of cars on road. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, I've not had a Big Max bag before. And I've obviously gone on website, I've ordered this. I played with you, didn't I? Yeah. Where did we play in Leeds? Edinley. At Edinley Golf Club. And there were only me without a Big Max bag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't realise they were that popular. Um, so, yeah, get in the comments, guys, if you've ever bought a Big Max product. And let us know how it, you know, how it fared and whether you'd buy another one. Because... Um, it might have even turned up before you've undone this. I know. The only Big Mac product I've ever bought, and I've still got it now, were a travel cover from American Golf when I was going on holiday, and it's still going strong. I bet I've had it 10 years. So this This is, box looks slim, by the way. It is slim, and that's the whole point of this trolley. It's called, Hold just come and have a zoom in on this, Daz. We've got Daz on the camera today. Um, the Blade IP trolley. Now, this is high end. You know, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's really at the top end of probably a budget for a, for a trolley, but it's, it's one of a kind, you know, there's no other one like this. And the main reason I've got this is my boss up here at Huddersfield Golf Club, she's forever moaning about us leaving stuff in back, you know, that you can't fit in your locker. Yeah. If you can't fit in your locker, take it home, she says. Well, this one is supposed to be able to fit into a locker. I can um, see why. With and let's, let's have a look at it. So it's supposed to be so slim and small that it can fit in a locker. And more to the point, you know, generally speaking these days when I actually use a trolley, it's when I'm traveling, it's when I'm playing away and I'm playing with somebody else. And trying to get two trolleys in a car, sometimes not that easy. But I wanted one as well that I could actually leave in my boot. I want a trolley that I can leave in the boot all the time, you know, so that I've got that yeah. choice. Because... Wow. 
this is quite small, isn't it? Yeah. It looks to be one. So now means. I've seen it like this. I've actually seen someone put one up in a car park. Have once. you? So yeah, yeah. I mean, do, I'm sure the wheels will come off. I can't wait to see this bit. What me trying to take the wheels yeah. off? Why? Do you know some? I no, no, no. But I'm just. You know, you know what I'm it's like? like first time putting some up. Well, it's one of them guys. You know, we get this instruction manual, don't we? But nobody ever wants to read it. I, I will have a good read of this at some point. They come off. We better go. I could go and test this in a locker, actually. I can see. Yeah. In that, that is small, Definitely isn't it? It's tiny. That is thin. Look at that. I mean, that is thin. Are we going to try and put this up without instruction? I like that. That's the top, this upper handle, isn't it? It looks nice. Yeah, yeah. Right, guys, we've read the instructions and we're going to see how quick we can do this now we've read the instructions. Mastered it. Right. One, two, oops. One, two. Lock that in. And then that's it. That's it. It's locked in now. There we are. Shall I try and reverse Simple, it? Simple, yeah. Right, reverse it. A little catch here. And twist. Under. Undo the bracket here. Push it down. And then lock. Them down and under. That's better. Don't feel so much an umpty now. Let's have a look what I've got sent on accessories. I think I'm going to order an umbrella because I thought if we're going to use this in the course flags, the last thing I want to be doing is after Big Max has sent me a lovely trolley and, and bag, he's having like a ping umbrella on there or something <laughs> like that. So I think there might be a towel in here. And an umbrella. And do you know what? The accessories, I've got to say, it was so reasonably priced. Um, do you remember how much? I think, I mean, I'll put the price up on screen. I'm sure the umbrella was under £30, which is a, it were um, a double canopied umbrella. Yep. So it was a windstopper umbrella, which, you know, obviously where we play, you've got to have one of them, haven't you? We've got a wind stopper. We shouldn't open that inside, should we? Bad luck, isn't is it? Is it bad luck? Daz has, Daz has nodding his head. Um, what's this? This is, oh, microfiber towel. So about the brolly holder, how much was that? The brolly holder, I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. I like that though, because it's got a little zip on it. Put things in there and... Another one, you can stick your glove on it. It's got like oh, a bit yeah, of Velcro, yeah. you know, keep everything together. Um, this was the big one, device cradle, right? I thought, what a great what a great idea, because I've got two cameras now. We can have a Big Max cam. So we can have a second camera angle. We'll get the ball flight with the main camera, but this could be side angles. Right. So we can have an actual camera plant on the trolley. And I thought, for you guys at home, you know, if you go to the driving range or you're warming up at the golf club, yeah. it's sometimes nice, isn't it, you know, to have something that you can actually put, you know, a stand to have your camera in. So we've got device cradle, which you can go on to, attach onto the trolley. Um, and I might even use that just for looking at my swing, you know, when I'm warming up and stuff like that. So... I wouldn't advise that. So I think what we'll do, we'll get all this stuff on, we'll build it up, and then we'll show you guys the end product. So this is it. We're all set. All the clubs are in the bag. This is a test. <laughs> Can I do it first time? Lock in. Oh, looking good. It. <clears throat> That's it. All right, let's see how it fits on then. Oh yeah, there's a slot there at the bottom. Yeah, that's it. It's got an adjustable strap. Just come and have a look at this bag, Daz, because a few things I'm impressed with about it. Um, is this pretty standard on a stand bag these days? It's got a cooler pocket. 
don't know if that's standard. I, I still ain't got one on my current bag anyway. I, haven't got one on the friction bag. I like the fact that it's got a fully waterproof zip zip pocket as well. So I'm going to stick my gloves in that pocket. And I think these are great ideas, you know, for convenience. Being able to just put your pen in there, clip on there. You've got Velcro for a glove. Um, I mean, I've used that one actually. There. And I were thinking with this, you know, how we saw that it got the clip on here. I reckon when I'm not using that, I'm going to leave it clipped on side of trolley. I think I'd find that a little bit of a nuisance if I'm not actually using it. So I'll see if I can do it Daz style. Yeah, so you've obviously got your normal carabiner clip to clip on to the bracket there. But you've also got a little holder where you've got a little mount there. As you clip in, pull it down and you'll be able to put your attachments yeah. onto the side. Unassembly. Oh, this was the last bit I like about it, right? You know, my old trolley, this has actually got a lock on the compartment, which I like. Um, I don't know if that's pretty standard again on most trolleys. I've only ever had one other sort of trolley, but it didn't have one, and it used to blow open when it was windy. So I've got a few little accessories in there, and that's it, we're ready to go. Let's hope it helps you again. It's, a, it's got the brake on, by the looks of it. So is it just one of them you press? Oh, that's it. Lifting. Oh, it's got a double. Yeah, it's got a double brake. Yeah. That's it. We're ready. Right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that video. That's the Big Max. That's my new bag and trolley. Partnering with Big Max for the Beat the Pro series, but I will be using it for all my golf because now I've got that convenience of being able to carry it or trolley, um, and certainly I'll be able to fit that in the car, leave it in there all the time, or if not, the locker. So um, yeah, there we are. We're going to go and play a few holes. Let's do it. Guys, if you want to see Dan test his new driver shaft, we've got a lot to talk about on shafts because there were quite a few comments, weren't there, in the last video where Dan had probably one of the best fittings I've ever seen on YouTube or the best fittings I've ever seen anyway. I think yeah. Sam was a fantastic fitter and I'm going to be going back down to see him. Um, come, and, come and join us in for that video because we've got a lot to talk about. A lot of comments that I, I must say rustled my feathers a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe so. So let's get into it. Guys, hope you're enjoying the videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.